All right, our next article is from ArsTechnica.com. The FCC ratified Wi-Fi 6E this morning. Uh, the 6 gigahertz spectrum is officially opened for unlicensed use in the USA. And so my question is, does this cause different diseases than 5G? Or does, does 6E... Is it? Is this all right? Do we do we want to lead with the conspiracy theory because there is one? Oh, there is one. Oh, yeah, yes. that the oh, E stands out. for Ebola. Oh my! God. <laughs> Why would they put it in the name? Yeah, <laughs> to let you know, like the, this Ebola. Is, it's not coronavirus. So, <laughs> all right. So that's that five G network. I feel like there's an app that should be downloaded by people to let me know if they're part of those conspiracy. <laughs> <theories. laughs> If I've Have come in contact, contact with, with any of those people, be like, hey, I heard that you think 5G towers cause coronavirus. Yeah. Absolutely, Until, man. Well, let me show you this. This hammer causes unconsciousness. <laughs> Until you go to the morning stand-up at our office and you go, why is my phone beeping? Yeah. <laughs> Which one of these idiots is Yeah, it? yeah. I, uh, it blows my mind that people think I don't know. So just to clarify... I didn't make that up. That's a real conspiracy theory. <laughs> so, All right. So what what is Wi-Fi uh, 6, actually? All right. So right now, Wi-Fi for most people operates at either the 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz spectrums. And those are pretty crowded, especially the 5 gigahertz ones. So the more people that have Wi-Fi antennas in their home, the more interference you get, the more cluttered that network gets. Uh, and so, you know, people are feeling that pain. So the FCC has decided to open up another range of uh, uh, frequency bandwidth. And so that is the 6 gigahertz range. And they've actually opened up about uh, 1,200 megahertz of bandwidth in this 6 gigahertz range. And that's going to facilitate uh, a significant amount of more room, so much more room that a lot of the collision detection and stuff that we have in traditional wireless isn't necessary anymore. Uh, so you should be able to get at a minimum four times the bandwidth, although they show like statistically you could do seven times the bandwidth uh, of your wireless that you have now. The range will be about the same as five gigahertz, which is not as great. Like 2.4 gigahertz is still better range, but you get way faster speeds with five and, and now with 6E. So this has been batting around. I think we reported on it back in February because Broadcom had put out some equipment that was already set to the standard, even though it wasn't passed. Now it's passed. Intel, Broadcom, both of them are ready to crank out equipment. So towards the end of the year, we'll start to see some Wi-Fi 6E equipment showing up in the stores. And then here comes the Ebola. <laughs> Hemorrhagic right. fever, right. as far as I can see. Why am I bleeding out of my eyes? Yeah, that's yep. what concerns me, is even if I don't get it, if my neighbor gets it, then you yeah, gotta have yeah, an app. Ebola right. leaking in my house. And, and I'm gonna need an app that tracks if you were near someone with. Six, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that. Y'all, I'm gonna need some yeah. seed money though. Y'all got? Y all I got, got like thirteen dollars in my pocket. Yeah, all right, I'll, got thirteen dollars. Peter's on the hook for twenty grand. Got it. <laughs> I'll give you all my data. <laughs> that's that's valuable. that's better than money. <laughs> yeah, and my Nintendo account. You can use that. Yeah, can you fund a company with uh, Fortnite, Fortnite V bucks? I, I believe so. <laughs> I mean, that's, there's, I don't, they probably got more money than So, it, but. but that kind of explains, uh, like, people getting all kinds of crazy about that. Sorry, this is a throwback, totally unrelated to Wi-Fi 6. Um, you ever tried to buy a gift card recently? Yeah. With yeah. your credit card? Yeah, it was real hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and even if I'm the person who owns the credit card, still hard. Yeah. So they're like, you can't buy it here. I was like, what are you talking about? They're like, you got to go to the front desk. You got to give us 14 forms of identification. Really? And I was like, why? Money laundering. Yeah, it's like probably. what? I'm just gonna go buy V bucks, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> like, were you buying something weird, like 15 Visa gift cards or something? So I was buying two. Okay. And they were like, "Yeah, people have been coming in buying uh, gift cards with cash to launder, like drug money cash." And then How turning big are around, these gift cards. <laughs> They're buying three thousand dollar gift cards. I don't, I don't know, man. That, that's what got. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't make any sense. That's not money laundering. Right. That's just money exchanging. Yeah, that's buying things. Money, money laundering is I own a laundromat, and I made $500 today, and I said, I made $4 million today. <laughs> yeah, I think you know, when you think about just cash, it has serial numbers on it. It is somewhat traceable. Um, a gift card, like once you swap that cash for the gift card, that breaks that chain. So it would be a way to, to money launder it. I know there was a there was an article last year that was talking about the people selling gift cards on eBay. Like mm -hmm. you see gift cards all the time on eBay that sell for more than the value of the gift card. Um, you know, why would I pay sixty dollars for a forty dollar gift card to Best Buy? And the reasoning was that people were buying these gift cards with dirty money 
and then you know you were eff- effectively facilitating changing that out for clean money or, or other way around. I, I forget the order. Yeah. So the morals aside, you're saying I could just go to the store and buy you know a couple hundred dollars in gift cards and sell them for five hundred dollars on on eBay and apparently so. Yeah, go on eBay and look. They and, unless they've done something to stop it, uh, the, you you'd find them all over. I mean, eBay's not going to stop it. Unless... And you know what? I blame Wi-Fi Six. Yeah, that's all their fault. <laughs> yeah, the E stands for money laundering. Yep. Odd, odd acronym. Also yeah. Ebola. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. That too. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there. <laughs>